thing. So it's really hard to deal with that as Yoshi. Yep, it's a character that dominates the skies, but it's a character facing off against someone who is so used to this matchup, so used to reasserting control. Swear has so much experience against Palutena, and even against Jen's Palutena, because Jen has been one of the tried and true reps of this character for a minute. So. Oh yeah, exactly. It's gonna be a good set to start off this top eight. I'm very excited. Jen already starting off with a nice clean 62%. Swear is trying to find a, a battle here. Nice starting off with the back air into up to, oh my gosh, the jab lock. Ooh, just barely missing that. Swear is looking, both these players looking really crisp to start off this game. Yeah, and you know, that's how they both have to play. It's going to be like a 2-3 touch stock a piece on both ends because they both put in a lot of damage and excellent stage control with each combo that they get. Ooh. And look at that. Jen got a chance to play twice. He made it count for a whole stock. That is that top level play that we are talking about. Jen doing a very good job finding that down throw to back air. Now he's just trying to start, get that damage on already. Suarez is so good of using that egg to kind of set up, the, set the stage of this character. Like you think Yoshi's a character that has to just run in, throw his aerials at you. But Suarez always has the time to set the place, especially using that command grab too. So smart using that. John does his best to try to approach from multiple fronts because as the player facing off against Yoshi, you have to make that decision on whether or not you want to take the hit from the egg or redirect where you want to go. Mm -hmm. But then Yoshi has the air drift to be able to position himself accordingly. Yoshi's <laughs> movement is like dragging a PNG across your screen on a computer. For real! Like, he just schmoozes like wherever he wants. He just floats. Oh my gosh. Like Suarez is looking super good right now. Nice up smash there. It's just approaching Jen is absolutely the hardest thing. His defensive play is so good, but Suarez finds that stock regardless. Playing on second beat is really important against a player like Jen because Jen is not going to give you a lot of opportunities to interact, be it playing off Sheesh. hit, off whiff, whatever it may be, off stage. Definitely looking bad for Suarez too as Jen manages to take yet another stop. Jen is looking very good right now. Jen, I feel like in his set against G-Extreme yesterday, he kind of learned a valuable lesson of like, hey, maybe I don't need to always push the pressure, right? Like, I'm sitting here and shield, like waiting for you to throw out an option like that, like egg roll, that's not really going to work out there. He's doing such a good job of just waiting on his opponent and using Palatina's like dash attack and back air to completely punish you. The phenomenal moves for doing so because not only do they have a decent amount of range in their own right, being intangible, it's very tough to try to contest those. Plenty of firepower behind them, too. Threatening kill here. Oh, but it's wow. the up air that manages to catch Suarez and allow game one to go to Jen. What a mix up. You never see the Palutinas go for that up air off stage. So definitely a good mix up from Jen. Taking game one with a two stop. Absolutely looking phenomenal right now. Just great conditioning all around in the game one because you constantly saw Jen set up to fight with that back air. And Yoshi, a character very prone to using jump armor to get through moves like that. Mm -hmm. Where do you go when you jump? You go up. And where do you go when you get hit with up there? You, you go, go up. up. Yeah, you were holding up. You weren't ready for that one. Yeah, Jen really showing his knowledge of this matchup, right? He knows exactly what Yoshi's going for. He's trying to float around him. Look at that, Di, straight disgusting. up. Disgusting. My man said 90 degrees to the roof. He literally went to defend the north. He went straight <laughs> up. <laughs> nah, but Jen like showing his knowledge of the saying, like, hey, I know what Yoshi wants, right? And I know Palutena, the character, can just counter exactly that. So if I'm where I'm sitting. Suarez literally has to play my game. He has to sit there and he has to hold that. And I'm in a perfect spot to do so. I'm excited for this game too, though. We're taking oh, it's going to be small excellent. Battlefield. A very good stage for Yoshi to play off of against Palo because where we saw a lot of that aerial dominance from Jen, mm -hmm. this is now a very flat, laterally oriented stage where Yoshi's air drift gets to really allow him to take advantage of sharking the plats, covering that aerial space around the ledge, doing so securely. Although the same could very much be said for Palutena, especially if Jen opts to stay grounded. Oh yeah, exactly. The thing that Suarez really needs to try to do here is kind of force an option just like that from Jen. Jen's getting a little too comfortable throwing out these laggy options against Suarez. And it's working most of the time because Suarez is falling right into it. And Suarez needs to realize like, hey, Jen's getting throwing out these back airs and these dash attacks. I need to completely punish that. And it, he's doing a good job starting out this game, but it's just staying in that neutral position and playing, keeping your eyes on the prize against Palutena. That's the hardest thing to play in this matchup. And the platform layout of the stage makes for a very active stage when it comes to mm -hmm. movement orientation. You already see Jen trying to get his cancels with the teleports. You already see Suarez trying to drift as well as he could to cover that space. But this is a battle that's going to constantly bring itself in and out of center stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. As you say that, too, Suarez finally getting back on the stage, using that poking through the shield of that backer, just barely missing that forward air. And yet he's still on the offensive, wow. chasing oh him with the nair, staying in tight with forward air. Oh, the, the egg, too. With the oh, egg my too. gosh. 
That was insane. Suarez running in after that and shielding back her knowing it was going to come out. That is next level awareness. Holding this lead right now. And still, we've got Jen back on stage. Trying to hold it down. Not finding that out there for the second time. Oh, there we go. That the down to the back. Right and do it. true. Mm -hmm. Not as big of a window as it used to be, and a lot of people have learned their way of DIing out of it, but Jen is still excellent at being able to catch opponents with that back air. Like, uh, when you're fighting a player like this, there's not a simple just, oh, DI this way or DI that way. Jen knows exactly where he's following your DI. There's nowhere to escape. But following your DI isn't going to be, as we're seeing right here with Suarez, oh my gosh, just barely missing that forward air, but he's still going with all this damage. 85%, he's looking amazing right now. And that's even with a couple of drops along the combos. You Man, drop the combo and you still have time to pick it up? That's crazy. That's the American reset right there. <laughs> oh, oh nice cover the ledge. I love that adaptation. Trying to figure out if you can occupy that space at the ledge without putting yourself there. Really taking advantage of Egg as a disjoint. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, Suarez knowing exactly about Palatina's defensive options, knowing that getting back with the teleport isn't going to be very easy. So he's trying to find that Egg Trump there. But Jen still on the offensive though, trying to like, just barely avoiding that explosive flame. An amazing drift from Suarez. He's just trying to find that backer there, but that back throw is going to put you in such a bad spot. I guess again, again avoiding that explosive flame. And Momo, that's Ooh. the first time that we've seen explosive flame thus far. Suarez reminded that that is a threat because that's a move at higher percentages that will crack through the jump armor. Mm -hmm. Suarez now has to be a lot more careful about when he opts to jump out of pressure. And that's just going to limit his options, making Jen's shop all the easier as he hunts in for the kill. Oh my gosh, catching the landing with the up to What a call out from Jen. How laggy that move can be. You've definitely got to be confident for that option. And Jen is looking as clean as ever. 36% on these up airs. Suarez finally getting through that, and this might be the stock here. Oh, he got the lead match. That was huge. That backer's still going to take it, though. Yeah, Suarez always going to stay on the hunt. He's always looking for his opponent's option outside of the A. It's never a surefire follow up because he can build that adaptation just from the first egg leg. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, Suarez is doing such a good job of catching these uh, backfalls away from Jen, but he finds Nair there too. Trying to find, oh, it just really is in the spike combo to the forward air. 50% catch the rolling again. Just oh, that back air going straight through Suarez's Nair. That's what Jen is exactly taking advantage of. This is the matchup all over again. That back air doing basically everything for Jen. His lads oh. just straight up slugging it out here on last stock for game two. And it's a big game to take two because it's either Jen sitting on potential tournament game here or Suarez puts more and more pressure on him. Oh, Suarez just barely air dodging back on the stage, looking for an opening here. Je oh, whiffing the grab is still finding oh. the Nair. Oh my gosh, even when you have the read, Suarez is still even being punished. Nice air dodge there, avoiding the back air. Now we have down throw T. Oh, nice yeah. DI out there from Suarez. Suarez looking for his opportunity to hit, trying to knock Jen away with back air. I do like trying to at least use the furthest reaching move that you have in your arsenal. Because Fair is a little bit too committal at that point, Ooh. but good DI. He's still alive. Oh my gosh, I set up the explosive flame. You gotta be so afraid if you're Suarez here. Nice air dodge. I know Jen, you air dodge one too many times. He's still not able to get the fire punish off of the throw. Suarez looking for the opening here. At 157, Jen just needs one dash attack or something. Down throw isn't gonna take it. Maybe follow up with the up air. Oh my god. Is so scary. Just that the dash brassness, tag, Jen not letting up the heat. Mm -hmm. Wow, that up was... 2-0. It's looking real good right now. Jen, the absolute like awareness of his options there. He knows exactly where Suarez wants to go with that. Oh my gosh. Both these players, it's like Suarez is looking really good on the offensive, but Jen, in sitting in that center stage, knows exactly what Yoshi can eat. He, he knows the character he's fighting. He's played this character tons of times. He's like, okay, you do two things. You can land with an egg, or you can try to land with an aerial, and I'm going to punish out with dash attack every time. And he's fighting that very, very consistently. Jen is already up 2 0. He's looking like he might be a 3 0 against Suarez, unless he has something to say about this. It's very possible, although the return of small battlefield I do think is a good choice from <laughs> Suarez. There's the triple grab? What is this? Yo, he went for the four times. I don't know if I've ever seen him hit it four times. Not it's a, oh my god, he did. What, what is this? What, what game is this? <laughs> what are we doing? And the reflect to stop the silliness. I really like that, though, because it, it just further builds the mental stack against your opponent for such a, an unorthodox string of hits. But once the juggle game becomes a part of what Suarez has to worry about, oh, it's a oh. lot of damage on the board because we've seen time and time again these players trade big damage once they get their opponent in the air. Oh, exactly. Suarez is looking very look in this juggle game with Jen with the rebuttal there with the Nair trying to find the back and he does find it a little too confident with that egg and calls you out get back there I don't care how good your drift is you're getting back here Yo, buddy. the silky movement from Jen too because he knew the egg throw was coming and he had to weave 
below that to come in with the back air. He threaded the needle right there. You love to oh! see it, but big shoes, big pickup. Suarez making the stock counters look clean right oh now. 43% on him, though. Yoshi can make that up in a good combo. He just made, almost ended up with a down. That was 28%. Suarez, the big damage on that combo, grabbing you straight through that. Not afraid to face Yoshi in there, finding the back air again. Jen is just calling out every defensive option from Suarez right now. Finding that F tilt there too, catching the landing. Ooh, nice air to Suarez. Again, you're getting down through the back air. 117 just on this ledge alone. Suarez needs a mix up right now to get back on the stage. Ooh. All right. I'm liking the tech grades. So scary. Nice back air. Jen's movement is just firing up the more and more this game is going. And this oh, is game yeah. three. If Suarez ends up bringing us further and further, I don't know how much more Jen can wake up. Man's third eye is glued open right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jen is just throwing and literally facing off against every option. Yoshi throwing out. Yeah, he's taking a couple damage. Yeah, he's trading. He finds a footstool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everyone can play. Yoshi made to tell you, bro. Just, just, just. Counter, counter my jump. All I can do is jump. Okay, bet. I'll jump on your jump. It's rough in these streets. That is crazy. Suarez on his tournament stock right now has to make something crazy happen. Oh, so he might go down 3 0 against Jen. Oh, just barely whiffing the grab. Suarez trying to look for the punish. Oh, no, up smash. That was he was going for something crazy there. Yeah, no, tension's building on Suarez. You can see the pressure in his play. A couple of whiffed hits here and there. Mash and jump, get off the ledge. He's not going to be able to get the kill off this. Oh. Nice catching the landing with the jab. Jen just looking for that backer to close up this game. Nice air dodge from Suarez getting, getting caught with the grab. Suarez just can't do anything here. If he drifts away, he air dodges in, he gets caught with the grab. Jen just literally has his number. This is his set to win, unless Suarez has a huge mix up right now. It's just oh. such a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Suarez oh. gifted an opportunity from the whiffed counter, but that's still 112% built up from Jen. Oh, yeah, definitely a little big damage for Palatina to rack up right now. 20% on Jen. It's definitely doable for Suarez. He just needs to find that one opening. This could be it. But the, the, the mash out into the nair, Jen knows exactly what he's going for. He wants even more damage. Suarez just needs something, anything to get back in this game. But, oh, my gosh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, Momo, when can you miss it? All of a sudden, Yoshi becomes a problem because now you have to consider the fact that Max Rage Yoshi, the setups for up tilt into up air become that much more devastating for a character like Palutena. Oh my gosh, she's going for that grab. She's back trying to throw. find that set of back throw. Is going to take yep. it. Jen moves on 3-0 oh, over Suarez. Just that was a set. play from Jen the entire way through. Like, Palatina looking so good out there in his hands. You know where else Palatina's looking really good? We gotta go through some of these clips first before we talk oh about it. Gosh. And there's plenty to look at too. Oh my, yeah, you're right. Oh, whoa, that, that was a crazy. How do you even think to go for that? Snapchat? Palatina, she's a little tall lady. She's tall. And Yoshi's shoes, kind of big. She's wearing the Tims. It's, it truly. Oh my gosh. Both these players played phenomenal in the set. But Jen just had Suarez's number by the end, right? Like, like so Yoshi's a very good character. He can get a lot of damage. But there's almost so much you can do once you have his defensive option unlocked. Like, literally, double jump armor is very good, but it is really just a jump. It's just a jump, man. So you just you counter it with a jump. Goodbye. Yo, Palutena just looks like a mess of polygons there. That is not her prettiest look. Good night, sweet friends. <laughs> GG's. Shake my hand. Out at seventh. Goodbye, Suarez. That's crazy. We'll be seeing you back on the island, friend. <laughs> uh, but we'll be seeing plenty more of Jen later on. I'm looking forward to it. He's playing red hot right now. He keeps that momentum going. This loser's bracket will be a breeze for him, which is really saying something when you consider the level of talent that we have in the lower bracket. Oh, yeah. But what's everyone playing for? This is beautiful this? trophy. Can we talk about this? Like, it looks so good. Yo, for I might so just like, I, I might, I might got just, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't blame you. Would you, would you snitch? Would you say anything if I took it right now? Look at her. Look like, her. Let's get on, some of the detail like, into look the at this. camera. Let the folks at home know. That focusing, not going to do it justice. 